Hello and welcome, Vault Dwellers, to the Daily Up Show, a show about the things we love and hate about post-apocalyptic Appalachia, with various topics and nonsense to cover about Fallout 76. Here's our host, Dubethum. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to another Daily Ops episode. It's me and your boy, Dagger. Say hello, Dagger. Hey, what's going on, everyone? What's going on? Uh, so, we decided that we were going to try to take a couple swings at making a mobile camp for people who wanted to ditch Fallout first. But now that we have these camp slots, uh, some way to kind of deal with the fact that you still need kind of a camp on the go to scrap your stuff down and all that good stuff. So... Uh, we came up with two plans. We did try a couple of different iterations first and had a lot of issues uh, getting them either the blueprint to place or the blueprint to save in the first place. But we got two that we were able to save. We're going to take a look at them now. Um, we'll start with daggers. Let's go ahead and blueprint. No, nope, blueprint. There we go. And we want daggers camp. Okay. So let's see. Is it going to place? Okay. It's green. And it placed. All right. So this is an effective mobile camp. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. So we got a power armor bench, guitar, bed, scrap stash, uh, armor, tinkers, your special. Yep, we got all the benches. We got a symptomatic. With a small footprint. I know it's, you know. Yep, uh, it, it, yeah, it is. It is. It does require a little bit of space. You know, for, but what, to call it three by two. That's not bad. That's totally fine. We got some gardens here and I'm stuck. I'm stuck. And, oh, I've got some gardens on the roof, too. That's a good use of space. You could even take these roofs off and put more garden in if you wanted to. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this, if you wanted to, you know. Yeah, this is this is viable. So we were trying a multi-story one earlier, and it just does not work, guys. It just... it Every corner, it would fight with us. It would always tell us that something was pl floating or it just wouldn't place at all. Um, so if you're going to make a mobile camp, stick to one floor... Get it real jammed in there. Um, you could also put the scrap bot. Now we could only put one down right. in the camp, and he's just gonna show you with his. But you know, you could put that pretty much anywhere on the, on the roof. roof. Um, and you know, we'll see. I mean, you could even put another, pan uh, you know, dirt panel out here, put them on that, and then put a little more room for crops. Yeah, I think an ally and right there. scrap bot right yep. there on the outside. Yeah. Because your ally's not gonna die, so. Don't need to be inside. Don't need to be protected by anything. Yep. And you could make metal walls if you were going to live somewhere a little more dangerous. Throw some turrets up. You could try that. Sure. We sure. Didn't, but the, just we didn't the base to put down. Yeah, we didn't play with turrets too much. Um, you might want to just keep those stored and place them freely instead well, of on your blueprint. You wanted it to be more or less like a uh, yep. mobile, like a camp, like a, yep. like a tent. Exactly. Like that and I mean, you, you can always blueprint a second part, right? Because I have this that I use for workshops. Oh, budget exceeded. Hold on. Let me blow some stuff up real fast just to show you guys what I'm talking about. Oh, no. Oh, that was okay, actually. Um, let me just get rid of some lights here. One sure. Oh, and then see if we can pop yours down. Yep. Well, I just want to... Just to kind of add on to... Because if you do... Uh, consider it like a modular house right if you do it in parts like because i have this that i use for workshops that so you could just pop that right on the side of your house and now you have all the defenses but you don't have to worry about fighting with it fitting on every time right right yeah no it's done yep boom T took two blueprints in no time so this is the one that i went with i used the bungalow that you get from oh, tagger stands right in right oh but I, sorry I, about you're that. fine i use the uh, bungalow that you get from the um one one quest line i'm not going to spoil it but you do get this uh from the quest lines go take a look first upstairs you get your scrap bot you get your uh, power armor station that's on the ceiling or on the roof rather let's take a look inside now it does have a locked door i do have yasmin in here as well as the vending machine, there's Yasmin. I prefer her uh, because she cooks. Here's all our benches, all right? You are special vending machine. Uh, double beds. You can sleep on the top bunk too. If you can see, it's being a little janky, but there's a sleeping bag up there. Yeah, and it, this this came together pretty nice. Even got a little power, and you got to be careful with power, guys. Oh, keep your wiring very simple; it will break. Um, so keep that. Yeah, this is nights nice for events with you got two people, but three. You know, look at like you said, the sleeping on the top bunk. 
You can yeah. sleep on the bottom. We can both be buffing up, ready for Earl, whatever, the queen. Queen, yep, drop this at queens for sure. Although I think this building is pretty flimsy, it might blow up real quick. But if you're a little bit away and you have a few minutes, you know, this should work nicely. But there's a couple of quick camp ideas that we had, guys. Uh, yeah, building modular might be the way to go. Build it in little rooms. Maybe, yeah, you know, dedicate little... one of your slots. Well, yeah, make the right. blueprints. Use maybe, maybe use two by two sections. Build a bedroom, then you know, build a crafting room, build a vending. You know, you could put a whole thing together just in little little blueprints and not spend any time putting camps together. And if you do this, try build uh, blueprinting it, and you know, don't do anything too crazy. If you want to do wallpaper, if you want to do some pictures and stuff, of course that's awesome. Put it in there, try it out. You you know, there might be a chance that it doesn't place down is easy for you the more that's in it so yeah. we the simpler the better i'm sorry yeah we experimented with it for i don't know a good hour and a half probably way more time than we yeah. thought uh yep. and the the less is more less is more for sure be very um stingy and you know um if you make a blueprint that works say save that blueprint and then edit that blueprint and once. then see if that places, because there's some magic involved that I can't quite identify. We couldn't figure out what, what it was. But something breaks them. So be careful when you're Any feedback in the comments on what yeah. possibly could do it or uh, yeah, if you know, anybody knows, leave give it us below. a shout. But this is, a, this is easily a way to get away from Fallout First. This bungalow, I mean, it's got everything. It's kind of, It looks nice. You know, I, th I, I like that one. This... Uh, Daggers has a lot of custom customization. You can get anything you want in here. You can expand on it through the modular building system with blueprints. So whatever you like. You could do really tiny just rooms and just add them onto each other. And, and really make a nice little feature. But do uh, you have any final thoughts before we uh, wrap it up there, Dag? Working on your power armor? Nope, just uh, always to have fun building. Word. All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Have a good night. Thanks once again for tuning into our broadcast. If you enjoyed our show, please give us a good old-fashioned Vault Boy thumbs up by hitting that like button. If you really enjoyed the show, please subscribe. If you'd like to meet the cast, visit our Discord. Link in the doobly-doo below. Please leave your questions, comments, concerns, and emotional outbursts in the comments section. Please join us next week for another radioactive episode of the Daily Ops Show. Stay safe out there, Wastelanders.